Plastibaton by Old Castle Infrastructure. In this video, you'll see precisely how to install a Plastibaton channel system. From offloading to excavation and installation, this step by step process will show the proper, safe way to leverage Plastibaton products in your application. To ensure that your product installation runs smoothly, make sure that your job site is properly equipped. Please contact the on site safety coordinator for proper guidance. After your site has been prepared and all equipment is in place, it's time to begin your Plastibaton installation. Please follow all safety guidelines included in your installation manual to guarantee your site sees a safe, seamless installation process. Product Offloading When the truck arrives at the job site, you're ready to get started. Plastibaton trench will arrive on flatbed trucks in bundles with wooden dunnage. All trench and cover packages weigh less than 5,000 pounds and are able to be lifted with a standard forklift. To offload, be aware of all PPE requirements at the job site and then carefully position your forklift under a single bundle and evenly lift them one at a time. Take careful notice of how the product is bundled to ensure the forks are not split between two separate bundles, which could result in trenches falling from the truck. Covers and accessories are delivered on skids, with smaller items and hardware packaged with the leveling blocks. Be sure to store all product on flat, solid ground. Stack no higher than how it arrived on the truck. Site Excavation Now it's time to begin excavating the trench using your backhoe. Customers are responsible for the site's excavation as well as the disposal of all excavated material. The size of excavation depends on what size Plastibaton trench will be installed, allowing for proper backfilling material and room for powered compacting equipment. Once the correct size trench has been excavated, prepare the bed by installing a layer of firmly compacted stone. Take note that when placed in a later step, the top of the Plastibaton wall will rest two inches below final, finished grade. Base preparation and leveling are the most important aspects of the long-term performance of the Plastibaton cable trench. Your job site's specific base preparation should always be determined by an engineer, based on soil conditions and traffic loads at the installation location. Remove enough stone to place leveling blocks at 3 meters on center. Leveling blocks should be installed at every joint. In situations with cut trench, this will be less than 3 meters. Refer to the layout drawings for exact spacing at these locations. Leveling blocks will assist with installation speed, ensure adjacent trench are aligned with one another, and also help minimize any future settling. Finally, confirm that the leveling blocks and compacted stone between blocks are completely level. Each trench section will need to be fully supported by the compacted bed and should not be simply supported by two blocks. A laser level or cord line should be used to prepare the trench line grade. As a final step, geotextile fabric is placed at the trench joints to reduce intrusion of dirt or debris. Installation With the site prepared and product accounted for, it's time to begin the installation process of your Plastibaton trench system. Channels should be lifted into position with mechanized equipment via lifting harness or sling attached at either the bottom of the body or the sidewalls. An eye bolt kit is the preferred lifting method. Proper attachment of the lifting equipment is vital, with an improper execution potentially leading to a dangerous fallen load. Fully secure lifting hardware and always use lifting devices to place plastibaton. Once secured, lift and set the channels into place atop the leveling blocks. The ends of the trenches should be placed as close to the center of the leveling block as possible. For best results, align the channels along a center line. The trench sections may be further secured together with the optional attachment plate. Attachment plates are utilized where more severe erosion or settling may be expected, or heavy vibration, such as rail applications. Plug lifting holes with provided lifting caps. Backfilling Simultaneously on both sides of the channel, begin backfill with the selected material. Exact backfill materials for your specific job site should always be determined by an engineer based on the location soil conditions and traffic loads. If using compactable material, 
Backfill in 8 inch lifts and use a vibrating compactor. Bring the finished grade flush to slightly higher than the trench. Leaving the trench sidewall exposed could lead to damage from traffic. End plate installation. Square the end plate in place at the end of the trench run. Use a 1 4th inch carbide or diamond drill bit to add anchor holes in four locations. Install the included wedge anchors to secure the end plate. Supports Cover supports may be required at certain transition locations. Refer to Project Drawings or Old Castle Engineering for exact requirements. Place the support in the correct location, then use a 3 8 inch carbide or diamond drill bit to drill anchor holes, typically four per support. Install supplied wedge anchors to secure the supports. Covers Protection rods are included on most projects to protect cables in the event of a dropped cover. They do not provide structural support for the trench, so they are optional. If included, install the composite protection rods across the small grooves in the trench, two per cover. Using the cover lifting hooks provided, position HDPC covers over the channel directly so that they're not overlapping trench seams and then plug the lifting holes. Covers should be placed with a small 1 8 inch gap between each one so that covers do not jam and so that single covers will never overlap two trench bodies. Pay close attention to project drawings for the location of any mitered covers. Placing them in the wrong location will often lead to overlapping covers somewhere else on the trench run. Covers that overlap trench bodies often lead to future performance issues. Plug lifting holes with provided lifting caps. Additional trench protection. In temporary cases of repetitive traffic or special vehicle loads, matting may be placed over the trench for additional protection. Typically, this occurs during the construction phase of a project, where non-typical or constant traffic crosses the trench. Use steel plating as necessary to provide temporary protection for the trench surface. Modifications and repairs. Plasti baton is simple to cut or modify to meet site requirements. Refer to the written instruction manual for cutting design requirements and limitations. Conduit entries are also easy to add to the trench sidewall area. Cosmetic chips or cracks can be repaired with an Old Castle recommended epoxy patch kit. Key takeaways. A proper installation ensures a long-lasting, high-performing cable trench system. Installers should read the written manual prior to performing work and notify their service representative should any questions arise before, during, or after installation. Remember the following three items at the conclusion of the trench installation. Never overlap covers on two trenches. Use the installation guide for mitered trench and use all necessary steel supports. Refer to lid markings for load ratings and do not exceed maximum vehicle traffic. For more information about Plastibaton products, visit oldcastleinfrastructure.com slash plastibaton. If you have questions about installation or specific job site applications, contact a customer service representative at 888-868. 5214.